Hey everyone, Sarah here from Blue Lotus Films. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to make a square video with subtitles. So you're likely watching this video because you'd like to know the easy, straightforward way to make a square video with subtitles. So I get it, even though I run a video production company and make videos of all formats, I got frustrated at how difficult it can be to figure out this process. So first off, there are many ways you can make a square video with subtitles, but I want this to be simple for you. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I share video production and video marketing tips and tutorials every single week for wellness business owners to increase their visibility, generate leads, and increase their income. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I release new videos. All right, so after much trial and error, I've discovered the easiest way to make a square video with subtitles is by using a website called capwing.com. Now you may be wanting to use a smartphone app or a desktop editing program to create your video, but let me explain why Capwing is the best solution for you. So in order to successfully create a square video that looks like this one, your original footage needs to be 16 by nine aspect ratio otherwise known as widescreen or landscape. So if you're shooting with an iPhone, you'll shoot landscape. And the reason why is because you're gonna be putting the title of your video at the top and the subtitles underneath your landscape video, just like I'm gonna show you in the demo. And in an editing program, you normally would be working with a lot of layers, generating subtitles outside of the editing program to produce your square video with subtitles. But Capwing is great because it simplifies this process. So let's jump right into the demo. Okay, so we're on the capwing.com website. And what we wanna do, we're right now on the workspace. So we're gonna go over here to the left-hand side and click on studio. Now we're in the studio workspace. And the first thing we wanna do is start with a blank canvas. We want to make sure that our aspect ratio is a square video and it is, we just select one to one for square video. Now, before we import any videos, let's go ahead and change our background color. So this is my branding background color. And then I can go up here on the top and I, I can select upload so I can upload a video. Now, you will do click to upload. I have already uploaded my video and it's right here in my library so I can just select it. It'll take a little bit of time to upload your video. So I did this in advance for you. So you can see here, this is my landscape video. I've imported it in and I have space on the top and space on the bottom. It just fits nicely in right in the middle. So let's add our title here. Oops, we selected two titles, it looks like. So we'll delete one of these. And what we're gonna do is put our title in here, video title here. Let's just have that and let's center it. And if you want this to show up in the Instagram feed, then you wanna have your video title as close to the video image as possible. Now, I don't like this light outline, so I'm going here on the right-hand side to edit my text. I wanna select none for outline, and then you do have some font choices. I tend to go with Arial font, and you might wanna change the text color as well. You could go with a white color, that's what I tend to go for. And then you can stretch your text size just by using the bars. And so now we're set up with our video title, our video, and the next thing we wanna do is add subtitles. So I'm selecting the subtitles window. And then here, all you're gonna need to do is, collect, is select auto-generate for your subtitles and Capwing is going to auto-generate your subtitles for your video. Now this is a, a, be, a beta feature, so it's not perfect, um, and it'll take a little bit of time, but come back after it's done, and I'll show you how to make this a little more refined for your video. 
Okay, so our subtitles have finished generating and you'll see here there are a few typos because it is a computerized artificial intelligence. So let's go ahead and play the video and just see how it looks. Okay, awesome. So you can see how it automatically appears right underneath my video. And then in order to edit the text, all I'm gonna do is select the text here. So we have a couple typos here. I'm just gonna fix those real quick. And you don't need to do anything to save. That's what I love about Capwing as well. When you're typing here within this browser, it's automatically saving this video, which is just completely awesome. Um, so we'll scroll through and, you know, in order to finalize this video, I would go through every single line and just make sure that there aren't any typos. But let me show you a couple other features here on this subtitle window. So you can change the font of your subtitles. Again, I like to stick with Arial. Um, you could change the font size. You can make it center to the left or over to the right. And then what's cool here as well, it allows you to move the subtitles up or down. So sometimes I will actually, you probably seen on my videos, I will sometimes put the subtitles up on the video itself and then I'll put a logo on the bottom. So this does give you some options to be creative with creating your videos. So that is it. And then we click out of the subtitling area back to the studio and you'll see within the studio workspace, here it is, we are completely set up with our subtitles and with our video title. So the next thing we would do is just export video and keep in mind with the free version, you are going to have a limit on the amount of videos that you can export. I believe it's 200 megabytes, but um, you can export as many videos as you want. You just can't go back and re-edit that video that you just created. So make sure that it's finalized before you actually export it. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. So please like this video because it greatly helps out my channel by triggering the YouTube algorithm. And comment below and let me know, what is the content of your videos? What will you be posting as a square video? I would love to hear from you and learn more about your work. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I release new videos. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day.